Is man's best friend the planet's enemy? There's been an ongoing debate about whether owning a pet is as polluting as owning a car. Let's get down to the truth behind this. Is your adorable puppy as bad for the planet as a petrol guzzling car? While the precise carbon paw print of our furry friends is still a source of debate, one thing is clear, cats and dogs do have an impact on the planet. How? Well, their diet is the biggest contributor to their carbon paw print, which requires energy, land and water to produce. One of the most often cited studies was conducted by Gregory Oaken, a geography professor at UCLA. According to his 2017 study, feeding dogs and cats creates the equivalent of around 64 million tons of carbon dioxide in the US each year. That's roughly the same impact as 13.6 million cars on the road. However, multiple scientists have expressed doubts these findings are accurate. The argument? A lot of pet food comes from animal byproducts such as lungs, kidneys and tripe. The 2017 study, on the other hand, counts the greenhouse gas emissions as if cows and chickens were raised for the sole purpose of being turned into pet food, which is very rarely the case, explains Peter Alexander. I think that's very hard to justify, um, partly because it double counts. You know, uh, these, these, these um, life cycle assessments that are get calculating emission factors for meat are, are based on how much meat's produced, not how much meat and byproducts are produced. So effectively, you've, you, 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 you know, if you added everything up in that way, you would end up with more emissions than, you, than, than actually occurred. In Europe, cats were the most popular pets in 2022, with more than 127 million cats residing in 26% of households. But does owning a pet animal pollute more than owning a car? Are pets more polluting than cars? No, they're not. Pet, cars are far more polluting than, than, than pets. I would suggest for an average UK petrol car, you could, uh, the equivalent of owning that 10 kilogram dog for a year would be to drive about 1,400 miles or 2,000 kilometers, um, which is roughly 20% of the average distance that people drive in the UK. And I and the rest of Europe is much the same. So, you know, having a small dog is roughly equivalent to a fifth of a car. So don't worry, no one is saying you need to ditch your pet. But what should you do if you want to lower your pet's carbon paw prints? Well, according to multiple studies, you can reduce the amount of meat you feed certain pets and also adopt smaller animals to limit the amount of pet food needed to be produced.